we all know the, the, the story of the birth of Christ, and we all know the passion story, but do we know what happened next? 33, The Story of Hope, is a captivating story of the critical 18 months following the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. As most people know, Jesus was 30 when he started his ministry for three years, and was 33 at the time of crucifixion and resurrection. The story of hope represents the liberation that one experiences in his life when he comes to accept living with Christ. What's amazing is how 33 Hope began with a child's innocent question after watching The Passion of the Christ. My son, uh, Christian, uh, go figure, we were watching the movie The Passion as a family as we do every Easter on Good Friday and he said, Dad, what happens next? I really didn't know what the next story was. It's been about five or six months you know, researching this time period and I realized there was an amazing story that wasn't told there. Kirk Berenda shared his vision with his colleague Edward Flom, who coincidentally had just made a life-changing decision. Flom decided to quit his job as a successful real estate businessman to take a leap of faith and write his first book. One year from the day Berenda's son asked the question, the 33 Hope team received a publishing contract with Sound Enterprises, of which international actor Jim Caviezel is one of the founding members. What's amazing is how fast the wheels are in motion to move this project forward. Now Flom and his team are promoting 33 Hope across the nation through book signings, concerts, social media, and promotional events. Flom makes it clear his calling is not to preach or teach, but to tell the story. And so what we have done is we've personalized these stories. We've made them intimate. We've made it, you step into them so that you understand from a narrative viewpoint, you're along for the story. We have an opportunity to tell, we think, the greatest story never told and bring people back to Christ. And this is a, a unique tool to do that. Berendas and Flom both feel God is using them as a vehicle. This is a, a world project. I mean, we've gotten calls from all corners of the, of the globe. It's, it's taking root on its own, and it's, it's going organic, so we, you know, we can't stop it. The Lord is doing the heavy lifting on this. It's impossible, think about it, for a first-time writer to have this book published by Mr. Caviezel and his company and to be moving toward a full feature film, the first book. And when you hear this story, it's the same thing. How is it possible that these 11 guys, not formally educated, uh, trapped in a foreign city, uh, probably next to be executed, how is it that they, number one, escaped, and number two, created the religion that we know today? There's only one possible answer. I leave it up to the reader to determine, the viewer to make their determination, but the answer is the Holy Spirit.